Yan, we have here the timer. Yan, lang tayong next. Yan, na-next na natin. Then, we have the pause. Then, we have the time. We have the repeat. Yan, and we have the full time. So, time for each line. And this is the time, the duration of the entire presentation. So, dito mo orasan nyo how long each slide will take. recorded sa video recording post yan so ito pinost lang natin you can resume recording and you can continue or you can exit so exit muna natin or stop muna natin yan yan sabi dyan the total time for your slideshow was 1 minute and 16 seconds do you want to save the slide Time. So, kapag nag-guess ka, next time that you run your slide, yeah, so let's try to run. So, everything that we are doing are now recorded, even my uh, uh, speech. So, hindi pa natin natapos yung running up the slide. next slide based on the timing that we have created. Diba? Na-rehearse natin. Ayan. So, automatic na siya. We'll move to the next slide based on the timing. Ayan. Five seconds each slide. in our yeah. so we have here pause uh, stop select area audio if you want to record the audio then record pointer yeah. so if you have a record pointer if you want a record pointer now we will end our uh, screen so this is uh, how we set up the show we have this buttons we can move to the next slide we can pause the recording this is the timing for each slide and this is the timing for the, for the entire duration of the presentation okay let's
So, these are the steps in creating animation. First, you have to draw something. So, you can use a picture, a shape, again, or a graphics. So, for example, we will use a shape. And for example, the size. Okay. So, if you would like to animate the sun, open ng mic. Pakiclose po ng mic. Yan. So, we have here our sun. Okay. Next, we wanted our sun to animate. So, you go to animation. Then, please open the animation page. Okay. Now, we will select from the and we would like our sun to appear on our stage. So, we choose appear. Then, for the sun to automatically appear so we will choose after click so that it will automatically so if you would like to add more animation to our sun so choose add animation then we will put a pulse here again pulse and so it's like it's blinking so we let us choose after Take a look, yeah. So it's like our sun is blinking. Let us see with our timing. So we would like to rewind our sun. Yeah, so it is after preview. Okay, so let us see if we have here timings. 
Ayan, so we can delay in seconds. So for example, two seconds delay. Bilis ng pag-sunset. Paglubog ng araw na ito. siya mabilis. Ito na lang ating Ayan. So, this is our example animation. Siyempre, dapat sa activity natin medyo kompleto yung animation. So, let us try to view our animation from the camera side. Pwede natin lagyan ng mga graphics or mga drawings. So, yan. So, ito muna ilalagay ko. Pero pwede nyo siyang lagyan ng mga slideshow. So, we can test, di ba? If the slides were complete, so if we were able to see all the animations, and of course, the record narration. We can put or create record or voice narration on each slide. And then, you can see if uh, the presentation, how long the presentation will take place, especially if it is a time presentation. So, you can really manage the time very well by rehearsing. Next, yan, uh, rehe rehearsing timing can be useful if you want to set up a presentation to play at certain speed without having to click through the slides yourself so that it can play automatically but still it will contain all the information that you would like to discuss. Yan, rehearsing is the last step in creating a polished presentation. If you never presented a slideshow, you may want to review our lesson on presenting slideshow to become familiar with the slides. Yeah, so these are the steps in creating or rehearsing a timing. So first, you need to go to the slideshow, then click reverse timing. So you'll be taken to the full screen view of your presentation so you can practice presenting your slide. When you are done for each slide, you can go to click next or on the recording toolbar to proceed to the next. When you reach the end of the show, a 
tayo nag-box na appear, total time of your presentation. So, if you are satisfied with the timing, just click yes. Yeah, so, the rehearse time will be safe and the next time you present the presentation, you will use this timing to advance the slides automatically. So, you doesn't need to click or to press any key because the presentation will automatically move to the next slide. If you need more than one try to get the times just right, so use the recording tool bar to take a break or start over on the slide. So to post the timer, click the plus button so no actions taken while the, term, the timer is posted will be If you want to record again the times on the current slide, click the repeat. feature is similar to the rehearse timing feature but it is a bit more comprehensive. If you have a microphone for your computer, you can record voice over narration for the entire presentation. This is useful if you plan to use your slides as a self-running presentation for Okay, so let us end this uh, recording.